Hi, it's Barbara Michelle, and I wanted to share with you another estate sale haul. I went to three estate sales, one yesterday and then two today. Um, one, I only got a few things, but this one came with these three. Oh, let me turn them the other way. Maybe I'll see better. These three... Um, things. They have books in them. I didn't go through them all. Uh, they're pamphlet style books. Oh, that one has some things missing. It looks like you put the stickers where they need to go. I like the covers. More stickers in there. That's interesting. Indians of the Southwest. Native Americans now. Let's see when these books are from. 1966. 1966 for those. Okay. And this one's a nat National Audubon Society nature program. Mushrooms or fungi. Lots of fun pictures in there. 1967 and Pets of the World. The same thing. 1967 Pets of the World. I'm not sure how many people keep all those pets. I really like the covers of the ones I just perused quickly. Uh, National science or science program. Ooh. More stickers. 1968. 1969. The moon. Oh, this one was full of stuff. Man in space. That's the last one. There's a big old. Looks like you would pull that out. Maybe it's a poster. Okay. And one more of those. Oh, there's specimens in there. Fossils. Rocks, minerals, and gems from 1965. Dinosaurs, prehistoric life. <clears throat> Ooh, and a little brochure. monkeys and apes. Alright, so those should be fun. Pull photos out. The covers probably can be used as books. I got this um, World Atlas. And I don't remember the date. Oh, copyright MCMLXX1X. I'll have to look that up later because I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Lots of gorgeous map pages in there. Okay. Well, I went uh, at that one where I got the map book. I also got all of these uh, packaging materials for shipping. I also got. Um, the same one with the packaging materials. I got these fold out maps. This one is of the United States. It's a little loud. We're just gonna. Missouri, that's the state I'm from. Oh, I guess that folds out big. Looks like a booklet. This one's from France, South America. These are places I have not been. I don't know what this one's from. Washington, D.C. Maybe. Wisconsin. I have family there. West Indies. Never been there. 
Looks like the moon. That will go with my space book. The people of the peoples of mainland. The peoples of mainland South Asia. Oh, I got this lovely household hints book. And this Mother Goose book. Uh, this one's 1945. It's an unusual shape for books that I've seen before. You can make it into really large tags or something. I'm not sure what I'll do with that. Okay, so I got these three... Um, Oh, no, I've had this one. I was just pulled it out to look at it to check the cover. Sorry. So I got these two little books, booklets. And the Cottontail Rabbit. I just like the size of the booklets. I thought they would make great independent journals. Okay. So this also came at, from the house with the maps. It's just some writing paper. I think that's all that's in the box. Oh, no, look at that. Envelopes. Look at those. Those are gorgeous. I love those envelopes. I like them even more than the paper. So that was a nice surprise. Okay, and then um, the one I got the most things from, I got these cookbooks. Betty Crocker. Uh, 1963. There's some notes in there. And these ones are in a little rough shape, especially the covers. So I might have to do some work. Oh, I did not. Well, there's all sorts of stuff inside these books. I'm going to have to go through them. But I assumed they were well loved. Some pages falling out there. Oh, yes. Definitely. Well, the cards seem to be in good order, even though it has a lot of pages falling out. And the cover will need to have some work done to it. Oh, I forgot to look at the year. I don't know what year this one was from. Let's see. Does it say? Um, the latest year, 1951. You see the cover is just coming apart, but I think I can put it back together. So it's $2 for each of the cookbooks. And this one is a newer one. Um, let's see if it says. 1976. So newer, but not super new. All right. And then I have one more, the Betty Crocker picture book. And again, this one, the cover is, is falling apart there. And it is from, well, else is 1958 right there. Oh, did I just pull that out? I think I did. You better be more careful. I'm not sure where this is from, what the actual year is. It was a Christmas gift. But I like it anyway, and I will fix the cover. This one is in worse shape than the other one. Again, it was $2. I think if I just put some reinforcements there, um, it'll be good to go. Because it's all there, it's just kind of coming apart at the seams. Okay. I got this. This was the most expensive thing I bought. It did cost $10. But I loved these cards in the middle. These answer folders. I'm going to turn these into journal covers. So there's a few of those. And then there's the instructions or the questions for the game. And look at all these beautiful cards. 
or papers for writing. Fantastic. I can't wait to use this. Let me put that back. Okay. I got some stationary items. I was watching Nick Book... No, that's not who I was watching. Um, Gina, I believe, with the rebookery. And she was saying how she doesn't copy dye paper because she just buys old aged paper that's already colored. So she doesn't have to copy dye. And I thought, genius! Um, so I got these envelopes that seem pretty aged. They already have a lovely color to them. And a bunch of pads of paper. This one's fairly white, so that one's kind of new. And this may have came that color yellow. Oh, that one's a little dirty. To check that out. And I like this one a lot. It was, um, it says, I like the ledger of it. That one's fairly new looking. Um, looks like drawing paper. This back side is gorgeous. Look at that color. I don't know if you can tell in my light, but it's really, really pretty. It's super textured, too. Oil painting tablet. I should have read the, read the thing. Another yellow pad. And then just some, you know, regular notebook paper, but it's aged a little bit. Engineering forms? Oh, just uh, graph paper. More lined notebook paper. Oh, I didn't know that was in there, those tabbies. And this is just typing paper, but again, it has that aged, aged uh, coloring to it. And this was, I don't think this was typing paper. I felt the sheet of it and it felt like an interesting texture. So, yeah, I don't know what kind of paper this is, but it feels very interesting. It's super thin. Oh, not all of it is the same. Hold on. Those ones are the interesting, and this, this feels more like heavier weight. Maybe typing paper. Maybe not. I'll stick it in the typing paper pack. Or I won't. I'll just stick it right on top. But this one, maybe it's that onion skin paper they talk about. I don't know. I like it, though. Okay. So that was my uh, stationary stuff. Okay. Oh, I can put these aside, too. Great for note-taking. All right. So I got these handkerchiefs. She had a whole selection, but I got the, some pretty floral ones. They were two for a dollar. And then this whole bag of linens, she called it miscellaneous linens, was one dollar. And it has all these, like, round doily type things. Well, this one's uh, more of an oval shape, but it's just full of all of these little things. And I thought they would be great after I wash them and iron them to add to some journals. You know, real fabric type doily things. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, the same type of thing. Very pretty. And this one looks a little bit different too. All right, so those need to be washed and ironed. But that was great. For just a dollar, I got that whole bag. I did pick up this one record album because I love the cover. Um, and it would be great if I cut it down. It could be a wonderful uh, book cover, journal cover. Oh, I had one more of those Audubon things. Awesome. This one is full. Let's see what's in there. Mushrooms. 
They have been very popular lately. Lots of pictures of mushrooms. 1966. <gasps> tropical, flowering tropical trees. I love flowers. Our vanishing wildlife. Exploring East Africa. I mean, I'm sure you can read the titles. Uh, Wildlife of Australia and Wildflowers of the Woods. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I got a few playing cards, a few sets of playing cards, just because I liked the designs. Let me see if I can get them all out here. Okay, that one goes with something else. I got this little bitty miniature set. Aren't those pretty? Look at that. Okay. This one I didn't open, and I don't know. It says, an original card game for boys and girls. So I don't know what the cards look like on the inside, but let's find out. Oh, that's great! I love those. Look at those images. That's fantastic. On the back side, let's see. Oh, that's great too. Oh, these are awesome. Okay. So these ones I got because of the little kissy girl. She's so cute. It looks like they're all the same. Oh, and these ones, because of the bird. This one said Iowa, and I thought the little pigs were so cute. All right, and then we have this funny looking guy. He's a fisher person. Oh, and oh, okay, and I really, really liked this this side of the card. So these are fun. They have all sorts of little pictures on them. That's fun. Um, this one I just like the I like the picture. Souvenir playing cards. Going to have to open them but you can see it's a little house. This one had two decks on it. Um, an old-timey car. Oh, there we go. I think there's... And a stained glass lady. And... They don't want to come out of there. There we go. And a little boy and a dog. So those are great. And look at the coloring. Beautiful, beautiful coloring on those. Alright, so that was all the playing cards that I got. That was actually what drew me to this estate sale. The stack of playing cards. That's what I saw on the pictures online. And that's why I went and then I ended up getting so much more stuff. I also got these um, flash cards. So those are lovely. I love the thickness of the flashcards and that they're matte. And I think the rest is just a few books that I got. The Mary Piper. Um, it's a golden storybook, but it's missing its beautiful golden edge. Let's see. It says 1921. Okay, and then Young People's World. I got three of those books. And these are from 1962 is the oldest. Oh, no, right there, 1966. So, those are fun. And I like the size. I thought they would make great covers for journals. Oh, this was just kind of thrown in there. 
set that to the side. Some more. Probably the same 1966. So, and then read with me. 1966. All right, this says the Winston Simplified Dictionary. And let's see how old it is. The, pager, the pages are creamy, glossy kind of. Copyright 1925. It has some wonderful photos in it. Or pictures, not photos. Look at that. That's so pretty. Actually, these pages aren't creamy. Just that beginning. These are just regular old. Regular old. They are old. But I really like this. This is lovely. Regular thin dictionary pages. 1925. I'll have to check my copyright date and see if that's in the copyright section. All right. Um, I don't know what the name of it is. It's Fairy Tales. Nineteen forty-seven. Had some nice photos in it, or pictures again. I said photos again, but it had some interesting pictures. Plus, I like the cover. And the Wizard of Oz. Nineteen thirty-nine. Looks like. The newest for the most recent. It says copyright 1899 and then 1903, 1903, and 1939. There's that. It's falling apart, as you can see, but it's still a beautiful book. Oh, oh, I did have two more things, or three more things. Um. This was from Friday sale. I got just this pocket folder thing. And then I got these two uh, sewing boxes. I'll show this little one first, or this shorter one. Just had a few bits of thread in there. And this one, this one was my favorite. Um, it had thread and stuff, but inside, oh, this was a separate purchase. Inside it had these two awesome needle hooks. Oh, I'm losing some needles there. I'm losing a lot of needles there. Okay, let me put those to the side so I don't put myself. But aren't they great? And this one, this one is in a little, not as good a shape. The needles are in there. A little bit of thread. Those were super great. Um, probably won't use that. It had a few snaps. And a scissor sharpener. Could always use that. Some safety pins. I was going to call them bobby pins, but that's not right. And this button fastener with instructions. Oh, I think this goes with the button fastener. Pretty sure. More, um, these aren't snaps. They're eyelets or, yeah, hook and eye loops. Okay, and then also, well, same place I bought this, this uh, sewing thing. I got, I found one stack of these little cards that I have bought before, these little photos. I bought some like this before at a different estate sale. And they're just souvenir photos. From Boston, Massachusetts. Okay. So that was it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And have a wonderful day.